to myself What a wonderful beautiful people and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here if you're a returning subscriber welcome back today i will be reviewing the second portion of the watercolor arteza bundle the real 24 pack brush pens that are compatible with a water brush pen that is included all the other supplies that i'll be using today will be listed down below in the description box if you're ever curious about what i'm using aside from the watercolor brush pens if you watched my last youtube video you'll know that i did this cactus illustration in that video in preparation for today's review as far as the packaging itself i thought this art supply was great it comes in a plastic container with a lift up lid with two different trays with 12 brush pens in each tray along with a watercolor brush that you can fill up with water and use along with the brush pens themselves this was my first time using the brush pens. I wanted to do some swatches beforehand and also use some of my own paint brushes that were different sizes since the watercolor brush that it comes with was a little bit too big for my own taste. As far as technique, I used a lot of different techniques, one being putting the brush directly on paper and adding water afterwards or lifting some of the pigment from the brush and putting it directly onto the paper with the watercolor brush or just completely drawing with the brush itself and just using different methods which I thought all of them were equally successful and great so I would recommend these brushes as far as technique that you can use them in different methods and different ways to create different textures, shadows, highlights. I think they work for a lot of great things in watercolor art. me while using these was how quick these brush pens dried out on paper even after adding water considering that they're water-based ink i didn't expect them to dry as quickly as they did on the page so that was a happy surprise while working with these However, even though they did dry pretty quickly, I couldn't say the same for the background. When you reactivate them with water, as is probably expected, but for someone who doesn't know a lot about watercolor, I didn't expect them to blend this much. When I started blending in the background, sometimes I would tap on the existing colors that were already on the page and they would kind of melt together and blend and remove the color off of some of the cacti, which was kind of upsetting, but I still think it gave it a pretty cool look. So 
here is my finished illustration of a couple cacti in the watercolor brush pens by Arteza. All in all, I'd rate these brush pens about an 8.5, maybe a 9 if I'm being kind. As far as technique and the way they blend was very easy. I guess I'm just not advanced yet with them. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. See you in the next one. Thank you.